Water. We live each day totally dependent upon it. And if we're lucky, regularly immersed in it. Water nourishes us, it cleans us, it refreshes us. But despite water's inherent necessity to life, when it is clean and plentiful, we tend to take it for granted. We assume that no matter what we do, there will always be enough clean water. But that simply isn't true. Maine is known for its many clean lakes, rivers, and streams. But here on the Booth Bay Peninsula, freshwater resources are in short supply. When it comes to meeting public drinking water needs, the burden falls entirely on Adams Pond and Knickerbocker Lake. Situated in the center of Booth Bay, these two small lakes provide hundreds of millions of gallons of clean drinking water year-round to local schools, businesses, and many year-round and seasonal homes. Adams Pond and Knickerbocker Lake also support communities of plants, fishes, amphibians, birds, and reptiles, and they are a destination for people to swim, boat, fish, or simply enjoy their scenic beauty. The Booth Bay Region Water District manages the public water supply from the time water is withdrawn from the lakes until it flows from a tap. At its treatment plant and along its miles of pipeline, the water district ensures drinking water is safe for human consumption. But protecting water quality depends on all of us. Adams Pond and Knickerbocker Lake are situated within watersheds. A watershed is simply all the land that drains into the lake, and whatever is released in the watershed, whether it's spilled oil, a failing septic tank, pesticides, fertilizers, or soil erosion, it has the potential to reach the lake and degrade water quality. Human activities that disturb soil, release nutrients or contaminants, or convert natural areas to hard surfaces are the biggest threat to lakes like Adams Pond and Knickerbocker. Lake monitoring shows water quality in both Booth Bay lakes has been degraded by human development. Water in both lakes is considered below average for the state. Water quality sampling results are a clear warning we need to be more conscientious about our choices. Of all the concerns for Adams and Knickerbocker, probably the biggest is for an algae bloom. In lakes, algae growth is generally kept in check by the amount of phosphorus available in the water column. But when soil is eroded and enters the lake, it carries attached phosphorus. Too much phosphorus stimulates excess algae growth. In a relatively short time, a once clear lake can be choked with green or brown algae, becoming a smelly eyesore unfit for fish and humans. Property values decline and water becomes more expensive for treating. What can we do to protect our lakes from algae blooms? Probably the simplest, most reliable method is to allow Mother Nature to do her job by preserving natural environments that protect the lake. Maintaining natural areas around shorelines and streams gives nature the opportunity to intercept and filter contaminants before they reach water bodies. In natural areas, plant leaves, stems, and roots intercept falling and flowing water, slowing it down, reducing its impact force, and giving it a chance to percolate into the soil and to be filtered before it reaches a lake or stream. Nature tames water. But hard surfaces such as roads, roofs, and bare compacted soils have just the opposite effect on falling and flowing water. Water hits these surfaces full force, dislodging and picking up soil particles. As it travels over hard surfaces with nothing to slow it down, this dirty water, if not intercepted, can end up in lakes, dumping not just the soil that it's picked up, but phosphorus and other contaminants too. To protect Adams Pond and Knickerbocker Lake, the simplest and most effective choice we can make is to protect natural areas around streams and the shoreline. The second most important choice is to be sure our waste and our pet's waste and potentially harmful chemicals do not end up in lakes and streams. The Booth Bay region depends on Adams Pond and Knickerbocker Lake, and the health of these lakes depends on us. If we take care of these lakes and the watersheds that surround them, they will continue to serve us and many other species for generations to come.
It's our choice.